Notion has released a new native integration with Slack where you can send updates from any Notion database to a Slack channel or to your own Slack account, as well as you can receive notifications from Notion to Slack when you are mentioned on a database property on any part of a page or on a comment within Notion. In this video, we are exploring how you can activate or use these two new features and what the benefits of those might be for you if you use Slack and Notion. So Slack is a messaging tool that allows you to communicate and potentially replace emails or WhatsApp or any messaging tool. So it's just another messaging tool that you can use to collaborate with people and communicate with people and have messages in threads and organized in different workspaces and channels. So you can have one-on-one -on -one conversations with people, but you can also have conversations in groups that happen in Slack channels. And whenever you are on a Notion database right now, you will see a new option that you have. On the three dot menu, next to the new button, you will see Slack notifications. And that's the new feature that was just launched. And this feature is powered by webhooks, essentially. Webhooks fire whenever there is a specific event on a Notion database. In this case, whenever a property is changed or if there is a new page added to the database, this notification will be triggered and it will send a notification to your Slack channel, for example. So these are webhook based triggers, which is a pretty important innovation in the Notion automation ecosystem. It is a pretty relevant step towards internal automation within Notion after they launched buttons that allow you to customize internal workflows a bit more compared to before. But now with this Slack-based notification, we are starting to see Notion webhooks potentially come to life also in the Notion API, which for now doesn't have webhooks available yet. And if you want to discover more about this and have an expert opinion on the topic of Notion APIs, you can check out Ben Borowski's channel that is going to be linked in the description of this video. So this Slack notification internal automation has two basic functions, a trigger and an action, as in every automation out there. So for the trigger, you can select either when a page is added to this database, or you can select when a property is edited. And properties in Notion are columns. So each of these columns are called properties in Notion. You can choose any property, or you can choose a specific property change. You can notice that this database has the verification property that is specific to the new Notion wiki, that's because this database is a Notion wiki, but that property is not available as a trigger on this Slack native integration. So for example, let's set up an example here and I wanna have the trigger when the tag is onboarding. So when any of these occur. So if you wanna add a new trigger, you can select plus and then also add another property change and that's gonna set it up as an or trigger statement essentially. When tag is set to onboarding or owner is edited, so either of those occurs, then do this, that's the action here. So for now, let's just keep the tags and the action can be send a Slack notification to, and you can select where do you wanna send this Slack notification. You can send it to yourself only, your own Slack account, or you can select a channel from these channels here. For this example, I'm gonna select automation and I will create this rule here. And you can see we have the first rule, but you or any team member, if you collaborate in this database, can add any Slack notifications as you like. And you can name them right here to make sure that they are unique and, you, and that you can understand who owns what flow. So let's get to Slack now. And you can see this is my automation channel. I have a bunch of old messages here from 2021 where I was testing a bot. And now ideally we wanna receive a notification of a change on one of these pages when the tag is set to onboarding. So let's say I'm gonna go here and do onboarding and let's go to Slack. It might take a few seconds or a minute or so and then that notification will show up in Slack. After about one minute, the notification showed up. This is what it looks like. The Notion app sends this update and there is a direct link to the page that I can easily open from Slack directly. That's how you can connect a Notion database to your Slack workspace and specific channels to send automated messages based on some specific triggers that you can select in your database. And it's important to notice that this new automation is only available on Notion databases and not pages yet. So only on databases, you will find this option. The second update is that you can also receive Slack messages whenever you are mentioned somewhere in Notion. And a mention in Notion looks like your name preceded by the at sign. When this happens, you are usually notified in Notion on the updates panel here, where you can manage your notifications. And from now on, if you like, 
You can also receive notifications directly on Slack by going to settings and members, then my notifications and settings. And here you will see an option to activate Slack notifications and you can select your workspace. And that's how you can use the new internal Notion automation to connect Notion and Slack. In an upcoming video, we will also see what connecting your Coda doc to Slack looks like and what are the conceptual differences of doing that compared to the Notion way of handling internal automation. And in Coda, you can use Coda packs and we will unpack that in a future video soon. Thanks for watching for now. Feel free to drop any comments or questions that you have in the comments down below. Thanks for watching and see you soon.